Coach Aaron deserves a basketball court dedicated and named after him because he educated, developed, and inspired generations of young men to be better men. A great player is a great player because inside him he's something different. It ain't got nothing to do with numbers or anything else. But Fletcher would be the first to stand up here and say we don't need a new court. We probably have one more millimeter of wood left that we could sand down. He would also tell us don't replace the baskets because we need those steel bars hanging down from those baskets because they intimidate. See, what happens, you get this idea, this is my chance, this is my chance. Listen, let somebody else have the chance. Hit the open man. It ain't rocket science, you just gotta do what you're supposed to do. And he would say if you have to replace the floor and the court, by all means, don't do anything about the heating or the air conditioning. It has to be 90 degrees and humid because that's what turns boys into men. Pass and cut. Pass and cut. I'm so bored. Pass and cut. I've got to come up here. Pass and cut. My only requirement for the floor when we talked about this is that I want Fletcher Eretz's footprints painted on the court about eight to ten feet out from the coach's box, which is where he coached. Coach Eret and Mrs. Eret have earned this distinction, and a Fletcher and Betty Jean Eret basketball court is a fitting tribute.